Hey guys, Kill Supreme here, and we are back again with some more Sons of the Forest. As you can tell, I'm not in the base. I am down by the docks. And uh yeah, I'm in a, just gonna mess around today. Whatever I do today is not gonna be saved, so it'll be deleted anyway. Right. What I'm thinking of doing today is I want to have a little look at this end of game boss. Do you know the new boss that they've added after the uh, the cutscene? When you go into the Hell Cave and you go in the cube and then you come back out. This new boss is after that, but before you get into the helicopter. Bloody snowing. Could have held out weather. Oh, it's going to suck. So I figure I'm just going to run the boss quickly because I haven't done it on this save. I'm not going to save it, so it, it's not going to be complete anyway. Uh, we'll have a little look at it and see what it's like, see what it does, and um, we can just, well, basically, just see what it can do. Okay, so I'm giving you a warning now. This is your spoiler alert. I, uh, as soon as I go into this cube, it's all going to kick off at the end. So I'll let you know now, if you do not want to see the end boss... Ooh, if you don't want to see the end boss, I, uh, I'd probably skip it now or turn it off. Because that's what we're doing. We're messing around with the end boss today. Just to see how it goes. And I don't mean the boss that's in this cave, because he's already dead. I'm on about the one that's new and at the end. Okay, right. End scene is done. This is where it's kicking off. I haven't seen this. Well, I've kind of seen the boss, but I haven't like, took a proper look at it. What is it? <laughs> What's with his arm? Looks like he's got loads of sausages on his fingers. Oh, it's this silver guy. That is grim. Oh, don't. Oh, mate. Alright, yeah, that's grim. Why has he got massively fat arms? I don't understand. Right, this is at the docks, right? So, if you built a base here... Oh, God. If you, if you built a base here, I've got the AI paused so we can get a good look at it. If you could build a base here, like in this location, because it's literally right next to this, right? See, my tent is literally just there. So what happens if you build a base here? Build a big square, big walls all the way up, and then just have areas cut out so you can shoot. Will it be locked in it? I might have to try it out. Anyway, let's get a look at this ugly son of a bitch. Look, look at this stuff. What is that meant to be? Lips. But then it's got a head up there. Look at the state of this. Jesus. Look at the state of it. Oh, my God. Let's get fully armoured, because I know I'm going to get punched in the face, and I want to see how hard it hits once I switch the AI on. Wait, what? I've got gold armour on, and I've just put armour on on top of my gold armour. A bug? I do not know. Yeah, that's grim. That's like, that's proper grim. That is, uh... That is, that's disgusting. Alright, AI is switched on. Let's have a look to see what this can do. What? He's picked up the frigging chopper. Nah, no, mate. Where are you going? Oh, he's got a tree. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap. Oh, I forgot to reload. <laughs> no. This is a bit insane. My God. Oh, he's whooping me. I don't think my armor is actually helping because... I've got the gold armor on, but I can't take the gold armor off. Um, maybe they've done it so you can have the gold armor on now. Let's put that armor on. Got the gold armor off. Right, let's see how much damage we take now. Hopefully not too much. I ain't even got a bloody shot off. That one, two. Oh my God. V, get him. Got fingers here and everything. Not fingers, spiders. I wonder what happens if V gets involved. Go on, V. Do it. It's all yours, love. Oh, my God. He just crapped out some babies. Well, this thing is pretty impressive. Jesus Christ. The lard ass just jumped at me. Oh, my God. This is this is a hard fight. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it. I've got to get him to drop that bloody plane. Maybe a grenade would do it. Plane? Helicopter. I don't have any grenades. I should have all explosives. I can spawn some in. Hold on. Right, I spawned some grenades in. He's just freaking teleported over to me. 
This is this is a bit brutal, this one. Let's see what I can get with a grenade. I need him to... Oh, okay. So he's dropped... He hasn't dropped it. He picked it up. How did he get him to... I'm going to bite myself up. My God, this is hard. This is hard. So we have just checked... Oh, he's dropped it. Thank God. He's bringing lobby rocks at me now, though. I tell you what, we're going to do it this time round. I'm probably not going to be able to do it this time round, but... Oh, there's no way of... Nah, there's no way. Oh, he's crapping out a spider. So he's... Uh, no, he's pretty strong, isn't he? Uh, there's not really a way we can get rid of him. I feel like... We can't dodge. The damage he does is pretty intense. And you're going to have to have a lot of grenades to take him down, I think. I was fully armoured. Um, where the hell am I now? The animations are pretty cool, though. I quite like the fact that he picks up the chopper. <laughs> so what a fight. Let's go back. Yeah, he just stays there. Look, he's still there. Let's see if we can get our old sniper. Let's see what happens if I snipe him. No, he's coming. I ain't even got down there yet, and he's coming. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't think there's a way we can even bug him out. Like I said, this is a pretty intense fight, to be fair. I'm going to keep pummeling him with some uh, shotgun rounds just to see what he does. I don't know how they expect you to get out of the way of him attacking. Maybe we can drown him. Let's head over to the sea and see what happens. All right, let's see what he does at the docks. I've still got God Mode on, obviously. Bloody hell. Because uh, I don't want to die again. If I die, it's permanent death and I'll have to come back and I haven't saved it. But let's see how he handles this area. He just walks through it all. Alright. <laughs> just smash it. <laughs> nice, just wallops me in the water. Let's see if we can get him to jump on us. He's jumping in the sea! He can swim! <laughs> he can swim! He's not really swimming, but he's like under the water. He's on. Jesus, what are you meant to do? <laughs> this guy's a beast. Bunker. Let's get to the bunker. See if we can uh, get him into the bunker area. He won't be able to get us in there, surely. I'm just trying to figure out ways that you could defeat him without actually having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him because, well, that would be like me trying to have a boxing match with Chris Eubanks or uh, Mike Tyson. It's not really going to work, is it? Right, let's go this way. <laughs> I've got a... I was dead already. <laughs> I ran him over. <laughs> I, I ran him over. Oh my god, I killed him by running him over. Unless he timed out. Maybe he timed out. Maybe it took too long and he just died, but I, uh, I ran him over with the car. <laughs> I just ran over the end boss. The car. The car's the new best thing. It's amazing. Right, what we need to do is we need to get here and we need to build a base here. And I want to see if he will spawn at this location inside the base. And I want to see what happens. So I'm going to reload now. Right. Here we go. Where does he spawn then? So he's, it's like here, isn't it? It's got to be like here. Or is it over the other side? I'm pretty sure it's there. Yeah, it's there. Because that's where I got the car from and ran him over. I'm going to try that out again. If that's a bug and you can just literally just mow him down one go. That'd be perfect. But he spawns like here. Because my save point's there. So... If I just put log hack on and then use stone and just build a big ass stone square and take it like around this entire area, there's no way. There's like, there's no way he can get out unless the game despawns it or he destroys it when he comes up. Because he comes up like here. Hmm. All right. Let's give it a go. Right. That's what I'm going for. I'm not filling it all up. All I'm going to do is put columns in it. Because there's no way his big ass is going to fit through one of these doorways. He's not He's not that slim in his bloody dreams. I mean, he might, but <laughs> I doubt it. I'll stick a bar across the top, like beams across the top as well, just to make some sort of prison. Here we go. Oh, thanks, V. That's really going to come in handy. You just hang around here. Probably going to need you again at some point. And then uh, what we do, we'll do that. And if he does get out, we'll run him over. We'll see what happens. Car over the other side. So that should be all right. Okay, last bit. Here we go. Boom. Right. 
Now, oh my god, did I just build it too far forward, too far back? No, I'm pretty sure he spawns like here. Oh, well, there's only one way we can test it, can't we? We'll just get our asses in that cave and find out what happens. Because the chopper lands there. So, yeah. Yeah, that would do it. I'll give it a save here, so I haven't got a... In, in case it messes up, I could just, you know, spawn back here and we can find out what the hell's going on. But I'm very curious to see what's happened. Because I remember last time I built a house on the dock back there. And it still showed. I hope this is the right spot. No, I haven't picked the wrong place. Because it used to happen over here, right? This is where the helicopter used to land down here. But they changed it to there. Oh, well. Right, here we go. I was right. The prison's there. Oh, he comes out. Oh, I missed it. He comes out. Oh, no. He's inside the prison. <laughs> well, it, I thought he was coming out right in front of me, but he didn't. Hopefully, he doesn't glitch through and he'll just stay in there. I've got the AI off still. No. Get back in there. Oh, mate. He's just walking straight through it, isn't he? All right. Well, I built it too far over to the left. Oh, no. Timmy's uh, battered him a little bit. That's ridiculous with those arms. I mean, I'm not a fan of that. All right. So, I can get in and out. He's still stuck in there. So, that's perfect place, though. I probably could move it back a little bit, I reckon. But the building is still here. Right. Let's turn the AI on. And hopefully he doesn't jump out. If he jumps out, it's going to be really annoying. Here we go. Let's see what he does. Picks up the chopper. And he just runs straight through it. No, he hasn't. He's still in there. No, he just doesn't care. He just runs straight through it. Ah. Oh. I'm just trying to cheese the game a little bit. Come on. Let's see if we can get him back in there. His little crony he spawned in here, though. He's still here. No, let's get the old shot here. Take care of this friggin' spider, dude. Did he just, he just wrecked Calvin. Oh, Calvin. You wrong place at the wrong time, mate. Um, I don't know if it's because it's the gaps. Nah, I don't think you can contain him. I'm going to get the AI paused and I'm going to jump in the car and see if I can run him over. Right, I'm in the car. Oh, I was almost in the car. The fat sod freaking dummy in. My God, he's relentless. Once he catches you, that's it. You're screwed. Get in the car already. My God. Right, made it in the car. Smashes you out of it. Maybe I didn't kill him in the car then. Ah, oh, my car's upside down now. There. That's a shame. I was really hoping this would, like, imprison him. But he's just, he's literally just running through it like there's no tomorrow. Just glitching straight through the walls as if they're not there. That is a massive shame. I'm guessing he just despawns there now after some time. I thought I'd ran him over and killed him, but clearly I was wrong. Let's take his ass over to the bunker. Right, I'm at the bait, the bunker. Let's see if he can get in here. Hey, don't you... <laughs> Like he can hit you through the bunker walls. Oh, come on. They, uh, they're they not very uh, clear with their, their creatures, are they? Like They glitch through the walls. And this dude is literally on top of the bunker now. And he's hit me through the walls. All right, he's going to have to run all his way back down again to try and get to me, isn't he? Is he coming in? He can't come in. Right? If he can't get in here, you ain't getting in here, you scum. But he can hit you through the walls, though. All right. It's that chopper, innit? All right, we'll get the grenades out. We'll see if we can get the drop. Just trying to get in the drop. Bloody, I blew myself up. Just trying to get in the drop the chopper. If he drops it, he can't get in, can he? So. All right, he's dropped it. That building seems to be withstanding quite a bit. I just want to... God. Oh, that's gone. Alright, no, he can't he can't get in. So at least this is one way of doing it. This is a, at least one way to if you don't mind bugging it out a little bit. Because I've got a feeling this guy's gonna be a right bitch to kill on the beach. I wonder where my, uh, how much damage those time charges do. 
Tell you what we'll do. I've got an idea. Someone mentioned those drop log things. If I can make those log traps and see how if they kill him. I'm just going to set these up. You basically put a log on the floor and then you put a stick underneath. And when they knock it over, it's meant to do a crap ton of damage. If that is the case, then you can set these up on the beach before he spawns. And then go down there, do it. And then he'll spawn in these and then just absolutely annihilate himself. Let's get him back into action. Here we go. He's bloody jumped on me, isn't he, the jerk? Come run over here. Come on. Don't be spitting out other babies. They're disgusting. That's not going to work. Maybe they don't set them off. Maybe I've got to push them. Oh, yeah, it does it. Is he dead? He died. <laughs> he died. Oh, he died. He died. He died on it. That was amazing. <laughs> what are they going to land in there? They're going to land in the middle. Yeah, they landed in my prison. So my prison didn't work. That was a waste of time. Right, one more test, one more test. Because to be honest, it takes ages to run back down that cave. I'm going to test one more thing out. I'm going to put a crap ton of those logs up here. Then I'm going to run back down there. And then I'm going to get the creature to come back. Here we go. I'm testing it so you guys don't have to. Right. I've got quite a lot here. Actually, how many have I got? 16. I've got 16 of them. We'll see how this goes. Calvin, please don't set them off, mate. You'll one-shot yourself. I think someone said in the... I can't remember what they said in the comments, but uh, they said that these do, like, a thousand damage per per one or something like that. I, uh, I can't quite remember. But we'll get them set up this way anyway. I try not to knock them over myself because... Oh, no, I've got God Mode on. I don't have God Mode on. I didn't switch it on. Because this is a... I reloaded, didn't I? All right, well, I'll just be real careful. I don't fancy one-shotting myself with my own log traps. That'd suck. I don't even know if you can, can you? No idea. I've never used these before. It's the first time. Right. Yep, V, you're really close. Personal space, girl. Personal space. Right, that looks good. I've got an army of them. Right, let's get our asses back in that cave system. I don't want to see that cave ever again. This is like the fourth time I've ran it now. All right, here we go. There's this bloody cutscene again. I've just, I don't want to watch this anymore. I've seen it so many times. I feel like I'm part of it now. And my logs are still there, hopefully. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Come on, hurry up. This part is still bloody grim. I think I'd rather have just died in the chopper than get eaten that by that thing. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, Timmy, leave him alone. Here we go, fatty. Let's do it. Got He's dead already. Yes, one. <laughs> oh, I pushed the wrong button and I ended up pausing the recording. One. One of them. <laughs> one of them took him out. That's all he needed was one. There you go, guys. We've broken the end, boss. If you can't fight him and you can't kill him, just put these down before you go into the basement. Uh, basement? All right. Technically. Before you go into hell. And then <laughs> he gets killed by them things. So literally one of them took him out. Ah, oh, that was great. Hello, guys. Should we... Let's push them over. I can't believe it. Like, these are one-shotters. <laughs> All right, that was great. Uh, yeah. We've defeated the end boss. We didn't even have to pull out our gun. I mean, I pulled it out anyway, but there was nothing to do with it. So I'm going to leave this one here. That was a good good little experiment. I kind of enjoyed that. I haven't enjoyed watching the cutscene about eight times, but it is what it is, right? We're sciencing things, and we've figured it out. <laughs> put, put one of these down. <laughs> a log on the floor, put a stick underneath it. Just make sure you do it where he lands. Uh... But yeah, perfect. So I'm going to leave this one here. So thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. We'll see some more subscribe. Also, I've got Discord. Link is in the description. I am also on Patreon. So if you uh, fancy a bit of supporting me, that's fine. It's up to you. You don't have to. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.